Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. I wanted to just come on real quick. It's Saturday morning. It's early. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't join the basketball team. Anyway, y'all, it's early, and uh, I'm getting ready to move and groove. We're not going to do Bible study this morning because I have got to get my car to get it serviced. It's time to get the oil change, tire rotation, and whatever they've got on the little schedule maintenance that needs to be done. So I have got to get out of here this morning and do that. And sometimes that can take two or three hours. You know how it is. And then um, I'm f finally going to go to the movies with uh, my nephew. He was texting me last night. Um, what else I got? And I got a lot of little, you know, Saturday running arounds to do. But other than that, I'm doing well. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with my family, me and my son and um his family my family of course but um he's doing well his stitches are still in they'll take them out on um i think he said wednesday of next week so he's on the mend everything is looking good and we tell the lord thank you um so i've just been kind of close to him a little bit over the past couple of weeks and running up and down the highway and um just, you know, making sure everything heals with him correctly. Um, he's a little bit concerned about that, um, you know, the nerve endings and stuff like that. But, you know, he's a very active man. So, you know, you know how men can be. They can be, you know, you know. But anyway, that's okay. I'm his mama. I always will be. Um, but other than that, that's all I got going on. Like I said, I've been very busy running up and down the road. Very tired. Um, and... Checking on mom here and there. Um, but no, that's it, y'all. I'm going to drink me a cup of coffee. I got to wash these dishes right quick because I cooked ravioli last night. Um, but other than that, y'all, I'm doing good. I'm just, like I said, I'm kind of tired. When you're running a lot uh, and then you're still work, pulling 50, 55 hours a week, um, it can make for a long week. But I tell the Lord, thank you. He's going to give us what we need, when we need, and when we need it, won't he? All we got to do is ask. Ask and you shall receive. But anyway, let me go. I just wanted to come on right quick and give y'all this quick video so y'all know what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably do a little vlogging. You know how I do on the weekend. We do what we do. And um, uh, that's it and that's all. I'm just trying to think that, that I leave anything out. <laughs> but anyway, I love y'all so much. Thank you for your support. Um, and yeah, shout out to my granddaughter, Kinsley. She is smart. She is just quick learning, but that's how it is when a, when a child is growing up in a house with older siblings, they pick up so much and they learn so much because they watch everything you do. And that's another lesson to know that, you know, uh, your children, honey, you think they don't know, but honey, they be watching everything that we do and they will mimic and pick it up so you know that's just and, and we know this we know this but i mean like i said she knew exactly what to do with that makeup she knew exactly what to do with that lip gloss she knew exactly what to do with that perfume when i said rubbing on her wrist and she was putting the uh lotion on her legs oh honey she was honey she was she has arrived honey but anyway i love her so I'm just going to try to spend a little bit more time with her so she'll, you know, really gravitate toward me so I can start maybe keeping her. Um, but, you know, uh, we, we, we're kind of distant as far as distance is concerned. They work all the time. Of course, I still work. So I told them, I said, we need to try to do better on because, uh, I mean, she's in her foundational years, you know. And but I know I understand life, life, life. When you're working. <clears throat> It's not always that you're able to see your grandchildren every day um, or your children every day. You know, I understand. I get it. Life, life. Uh, they would love to be able to come and sit up under my table uh, every day, but they just can't. You got to work. You got to get the bills paid because guess what? I don't need you coming knocking on my bank account when you shortchanged. Oh, did somebody catch that? Okay, okay. Anyway, let me go. Um, and, uh, get these dishes done, get these dishes washed, and baby, I'm going to be out the door handling my business, and, um, um, I'm probably going to have Mr. Silver Fox meet me down there, because we were out to talk this morning, 
and he's just willing and ready to serve in it. That's just awesome to me. I just love that man. But anyway, um, that way, instead of me just sitting there waiting, I can be. He can be taking me doing some stuff that I need to do. You you see what I'm saying? Taking care of business all in one swap. So I ain't just sitting there for two or three hours when I could be doing other stuff. Anyway, let me go. Y'all know I like the jaw jack. I love you. God bless. And we'll pick up um, where we left off last week. Again, Noah and his sons. And sometimes the things that your fathers do, your mothers do. Here you are, a little child, playing on the playground, shooting marbles, playing jacks, hopscotch, and cartwheels. And something your daddy did, now it's got done went down to me. And isn't that the truth, though? Let's just stay, let me say, say right quick. Isn't that the truth? Here it is, you know, and that's happened to people. Because I, I remember, uh, you're going to grow up to be just like your daddy. And, you know, they the stigma is put on children based on what your mama and daddy did. So by the time you growing up and going, you know, you try to, you know, be a part of something. They done already blacklisted you based on what your mama and daddy did. Isn't that the truth sometimes in some instances? Not at all. But it's the truth. People will will put you down because your daddy was a no good whatever, whatever. Or your mama was this or that and the other. So they look at you as a child and say, mm, ain't, ain't nothing. You know, that's them so-and-so boys. That's them so-and-so girls. And so they've heard that their whole lives. So you it's almost like you putting your mouth on them. And so now what do they do? They grow up to be the same way. And that's what? That's that generation of curse. They have to be broken. But anyway, that's just another aspect of when I was reading that scripture. And I thought, wow, isn't that something? Isn't that something? And we, and like I said, when you look at the word and what Noah did and said to his own grandson, he cursed his grandson based on what his own son did to him. And I thought, you know what, that happens every, that happens all the time with children. Again, the child is innocent. Like I said, Ham grandson, I mean Noah's grandson, like I said, he out there in the fields chasing rabbits. He over there digging and making mud pies. Now, you know, I'm just paraphrasing, I'm just, you know, he, he, I'm just giving a visual. He, he's over here playing, you know. Uh, sticks and rocks with, with the other children in the in the neighborhood, if you will. And now I'm being cursed. I'm the I'm I'm gonna be the lowest servant of all my relatives. What? I ain't do nothing. I'm playing marbles. But it happens, doesn't it, y'all? It happens, and it's unfortunate that it happens because of what you as the parent does. So, like I said. You know, all this is segueing, you know, even with my granddaughter, you know, they watch. Not only do they can be oblivious to what we do that causes a curse to come upon them, but they also watch what we do and they will mimic. So, you know, it's always good to just keep that in mind when you butt wild in front of your children and you're, you know, this and that way in front of your children. It can have a le it can have a long lasting effect to your children. It really can. But anyway, like I said, for those who understand that, you know this. But anyway, let me go again. I done said by three times, ain't I? I guess I'm getting my little jaw jacking in because I know I got to go. I ain't gonna be able to do the Bible stuff. But anyway, let me go so I can go ahead and upload this really quickly. So y'all know what's going on. And like I said, we'll pick back up after the Tower of Babel have been, uh, or they attempted to build the Tower of Babel. But anyway, um, and then the different languages and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, y'all, y'all have an absolute fabulous Saturday, fabulous Sunday. Y'all head on over to the Flavor Train on Sunday. I got a special guest. Well, y'all met him last week for those of, who you, of you who watched. He's supposed to be coming back this week because he wants to start his YouTube, YouTube channel. He's ready to get on board okay he's ready to do the daggone thing and uh that was uh corey good family friend my sister's classmate actually and uh he's just you know been part of our family for years he pops in and out that type of thing but anyway he's really wanting to get his hustle on you know what i'm saying he's a business owner and all that good stuff so i told him i said yeah i'll sit with you come on get come on and get it come on let's do it you know so anyway, so he's supposed to be coming by 
um, and supposed to actually be do, sitting next to me. We don't. We we might give Tony the boot this Sunday, and uh, Tony just had to deal with it. <laughs> But anyway, again, y'all, thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing our videos, really and truly. Just just sharing and viewing the video, that's a gift to us. Amen. So anyway, let me go. God bless you, and may the peace of the Lord be with you. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye.